one very important question we need to ask. Let it rip. Best white rappers. Oh, yeah. Who are your faves? <laughs> there's a handful of them. Well, white, there's a handful of white rappers. <laughs> 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 um, hmm, let me think of, like... Obviously, obviously, like, take Eminem out of it. like. But I was an Eminem yeah. fan. You were or weren't? I wasn't. Jordan okay. was saying he wasn't. I, I wasn't either. angry enough. I had a pretty, ah, I had a pretty fun childhood. That's I, like a great point. That is a great point. I wasn't really angry. Well, not just, angry, but like I never wanted to feel angry. So like yeah. when I heard Eminem, it's like yeah, Slim Shady was a fun music video because it was like it was cool the way it was done. But I'm like, I wasn't like, you know. I think I liked him because he was a white rapper. That was like my big thing. And then like he's, he was good at it. Like, I watched Eight Mile, but then I wasn't like, I, the only thing I took away from that is like, man, Detroit, like, sucks. Oh, <laughs> I like Get Richard Out Trying movie better than Eight Mile. 100%. 100%. Yeah. He's running on the sand, gets home, takes his freaking the wires out of his mouth. Yep. <laughs> uh-huh. So good. But, yeah, so Eminem's not even in it, wouldn't even be in it for me anyway, whether he's the GOAT or not. He is, like, you know, probably the GOAT as far as success goes mm-hmm. and, and talent-wise for the whites. Um, but... I think Yellow Wolf is up there. Okay. Which is, he's like the, you know, he wasn't too depressing, but like his cadence and mm-hmm. it was very intriguing for me early. Also mixtape day influence. He was yep. kind of mm-hmm. in that like he double was, XL he... freshman class yep. with Wiz and all them. So it was like Yellow Wolf was like early for me. Um, Post Malone's top three. Let's not forget he did come in with hip hop. Mm-hmm. Um he just started veering off, but yeah. But Stoney's he's, great. He's one of yeah. He's the only artist to have a top on in like every genre. I think yeah. it's yeah. like every genre. Yeah, yeah. Because he like had the rock different. and roll stuff. Yeah, and mm-hmm. the guy had a song with Ozzy. Yeah, like that's so sick. Crazy. It was so yeah. sick. <laughs> he has a song with Ozzy Osbourne and Two Chains, <laughs> <laughs> two different songs. And Luke Combs and, 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 and Tim and Ross. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Post has to be up there. MGK, same thing. Never really connected that, with me. Um, what up, Paul Wall? I was waiting Paul for Paul Wall. Well, so listen, I'm deciding Paul Wall's between. My guy. <laughs> yeah, so Paul Wall, I can't forget about him. Um, the whole like Mike Jones, Paul Wall era Bubba out Sparks. of Houston. Bubba Sparks up there, but not for me. Not for me, not but for he me. like he was he was very influential. I feel like in that. probably one. Of, yeah, I mean he had some some bangers. I, I like Paul Wall like, way more than Bubba he, Sparks. he was definitely banging off in secrets in the back of Guptil's back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> so he was up there, but uh. It's probably for my discography and what I actually spend time with is probably Yellow Wolf and Post Malone. G Easy mm-hmm. was good, but like same thing. It was kind of just like mm-hmm. you know mainstream bangers. You heard them, whatever. But as far as like diving and committing to the to the act and like following and listening, it's probably like Yellow Wolf and the and Post Malone. Okay, yeah. 